What is going on, guys? It's your boy Aiden Hayes back here with another episode of Red Dead Redemption. So, welcome everyone to part 16. Uh, so, if you are new here, make sure to subscribe. If you like what you see, you don't have to do it right now. But uh, leave a like if you're coming back. So, whether you're watching this as a stream or a video, I welcome you. And let me just go ahead and recap. We're, we entered a new chapter, so we're now in chapter 4, uh, Saint Denis. Uh, we made it to Saint Denis, and so far it's been a shit show. Just like I get, I, I, I knew it. I knew it. I knew Dutch. Dutch is just, I don't know. He's losing a man. He's not thinking about things. But anyway, things went south in Rhodes. Uh, we basically were stuck between the Braithwaite's and the Greys, which are two different families that have a feud. We tried playing them both. They ended up playing us. It's how it went, and um, we basically moved over to Saint Denis or an area close to Saint Denis, and so we're here now. We've lost two people. One is KIA, and that is Sean. I I was so shocked when Sean was shot. It was it was crazy, but uh, he's he's we've lost Sean, and then uh, Jack Jack Marston, uh, John Marston's son, has been taken and sold off to this uh bronte guy i think and uh, this italian guy i'm pretty sure it's to child slavery or i don't even know what it is but he's he ha bronte has him and that's where we're at with the story so there's a quick recap um and let's go ahead and just get right into it so uh we were in saint denis i went ahead got a haircut and i tried getting new clothing but there wasn't there was none it, you boys ready? none at all so what else do you know about this guy we're gonna go confront uh, Bronte, I believe. Some slick little greasy-haired European, clearly got power and money. Now, listen, if we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot. That I guarantee. Better like this, he's gonna have a lot of protection. Hey, no one's gonna get shot, Arthur. So everyone just relax. We'll charm him. Trust me. Sorry, I'm texting. Got some important stuff going on in life. <laughs> Sad but important. Is this it? The big house? The street right across the park? I think this is it, boys. This is it. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh. Run along now, boy. Oh, I don't think that's a good way to really start. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a brother? I got this. Hands are up. Hands are up. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. I have nothing. I have nothing. No need to be aggressive. Don't worry, boys. Oh, my health is really low, too. Can I eat something? <laughs> I was wondering if you could just put your hands down and eat something. <laughs> uh, he's running some sort of uh, weird business, I tell you. Ooh, look at that house. Ooh. Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? <laughs> he ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So... You walk into my city, oh. stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and Fuck you, you man. Me how to act? Fuck you. you. Ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Fuck you, dude. Fuck this guy. We need to shoot him. Indeed, you have. Now. We are simple country folk. All we have is each other. Oh, you, you took a seat. You don't take a seat. You nope. You took his son over some dispute with some 
inbred ex-slavers, it ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Uh-oh. Teodoro. <laughs> that is the best woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderland. Uh, Arthur Moore. What? what? <laughs> the pleasure is mine. John Marston. Oh, he just shook our hands. <laughs> <laughs> Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but, uh, but should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Uh, of course I know you would not want that. Huh? I'll pay you for him, damn. Uh, no. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Uh -huh. The thing is, they see my men, of course, they're on a mild. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. He's going to talk to him. Why you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> The f Salute. This guy's just playing Salute. with them, dude. I know these types of people. Not your horse already. Best Man, it got dark soon. Is there a curfew? There's no one out here. What are you doing? I'm getting on my horse. <laughs> what do you mean, Judd Marson? What do you Come mean, on, brother? Man. cemetery is I think so pretty sure I rode by it earlier it's real impressive you know yes you did good holding your tongue in there do you trust one word that comes out of that no mouth? no we don't even know where Jack is listen we found Bronte yeah it's a start touches with him now all things considered it could have gone a lot worse very true that poor kid I ain't been a good father to him. I hope he's okay. He'll be fine. I figure the Braithwaite's were going to hold Jack Branson for all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Bronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack uh -huh. ain't much used to him anymore. So let's just. Get this done. And let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Ugh, watch out! Get Sorry. Off of that horse, will you? Sorry, <laughs> I didn't know where we were going. Okay, I think this is it. Keep it down. I right, keep it the horses down. up ahead. Sitch the horses. Okay. God damn it! Huh? Come on! Where are we hitching the horses? This is so glitched up. We're not riding in there. Follow John. I am following you. He just went like back and forth. What do you mean? Should I bring out the pistols or maybe not? Not yet, at least. Not yet. This way. Search the cemetery for the grave robbers. Oh, this I, this mission already. See what's going on in here. Keep it down. I just saw someone running. Either that's a damn ghost. Oh, it's a dog. Oh, 
Hey there, boy. That's a skinny dog. It's a not well nourished dog. Poor dog. Let's keep looking. I saw a girl went by over here. To drink. Our friend died. Well, I'm sorry. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. You should get yourself home. I'm gonna check over here. I just walked off top of a two. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's got to be it. I hear something in there. Get in cover, and we'll bust the door in. Got to get busted. Come on, bust the damn door. You boys found my tappy's watching. What? Shoot, where did he come from? Hey! Let me go! Oh man, I love the Mouser pistol. That is all of them. Alright. Now let's find their stash. Gotta be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. Can't go back to Bronte empty-handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robin grave robbers. We've hit the big time. Search for the grave robber stash. We can't go back to Bronte with nothing to show for it, Arthur. Where was it? There might be something in here. Oh, there's a bag. Is that the stash? Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Oh, I bet the cops are coming. I hear the whistles. Damn, the law's here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. Locked. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it. Oh, shit. Let's go around the side. Yeah, because they're probably going to be right in the middle, right? Coming this way, get down! I found a body! Damn. Looks fresh, still bleeding. Must just been killed. They're still here! Oh, damn. Come on. Stay together. I'm like going on top of the grave. Go, 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 go.
make it up. We totally just got out of there. <laughs> Free. I bet you the guy already knows what happened. There's got to be people that told him already. Like, hey, they're coming with money. That's how these type of people rule, dude. I don't know what kind of shady business this guy's into. Like, child exploitation or something. But it's some shady stuff. It's some shady stuff. And he, he knows it all. Trust me. He, he runs this town. This is his town. He said it. St. Denis is his damn town. hope Jack is oh there's Dutch he's about to leave come on Arthur oh no that's not Dutch <laughs> well you took your time Jack. where's your host ah. like I said you took your time ah. I'm glad to see you let's get going what a fine man hey friend uh, thank Mr. Ready? Bronte you all for right? everything yeah I'm fine come on did he just kiss you yeah, what the hell? Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. We're more than that, dude. Trust me. We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. Papa Bronte! I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? <laughs> What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian Papa words. Bronte? Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. What? Whoa. Yo! <laughs> I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Did she miss me? And Jack is all out here. He was having fun. Like what? Well, we were all worried and we cried and we went out looking for you. We had to go through all that trouble. All for what? For Jack to be reading books and having his own room and not John Jack, but Jack to be eating spaghetti. So I know someone's gonna comment the spaghetti meme. I can see it. Real good to see you, Jack. You too, Uncle Arthur. Did you catch the bad guys? Which ones? At the graveyard. Uncle Dutch and Papa Bronte told me. Just Mr. Bronte. <laughs> yeah. Me and your pod dealt with him. I told him you would. Wait till you see this new camp. Hey, they're back. I think I see Jack. Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son. Everything. We got him! Mama! He's fine. I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> You ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. I'm gonna cry. I see Don't a little tear. That's not a tear. That's just my... Thank you. I sweat. <laughs> I got my son back. 
Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. He's like, he's Have like, that is drunk. Can I go play now? Ah, so. Well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is, uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside nope. of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. Jesus. <laughs> we got Jack back. <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. I, f I feel for Arthur, man, because he's, lo he's alone. A share 123. My lord. I'm just swimming in money. That's what I am. Uh... Oh my god, one of those celebration nights again. Just like the Sean one. Celito lindo, vienen bajando. I kind of know that song. Yo, my roots are coming back to me. This is too great. This is too great. I love this. This is too pre too freaking awesome, Javier. Javier, I love Javier, man. Lenny, Javier, they're my favorites, for sure. Marston, he's all right. <laughs> Charles is also one of my favorites. That's about it, man. So for me, it's like Lenny. So one is Lenny, then is Javier, then Charles, then Marston. Everyone else is just like, meh. Is he going to sing another one? I don't know that one. I'm gonna leave. Good songs though. <laughs> you must be starving, son. Let me get you something to eat. Thanks, Mama. Can I play a little? Of course you can. Well done, John. Dude, look at him. This kid was just the old guy. A merry relief. We all are. Alright, I would go to bed. Thank God it worked out. Welcome back, Jack. Thanks, Uncle Jose. Oh, I have a room in the mansion. Excuse me. We're moving up in places, man. I have a room in the house. What? I, would, I love it. Love it. Let's do this. Oh, it's upstairs? Is it upstairs? No, it's right here. Oh, my God. Look at this. My own room. Hey. Hey. Wait, is this my room? This is not my room. Is there a light? What's happening? Hold on. Is that my room? I 
think this is my room right here. Yeah, this is more like it. Fast travel. Change clothing. Can we shave? I think we could shave. Damn, look at that beard. It's growing. Adjust the chops. How do those grow so fast? Damn. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and sleep. Wait for the next day. Actually, there's only three hours till morning, so we're, we're kind of good. <laughs> All right, it is a letter has arrived return to your camp to read this Is this the letter Is this the letter right here Hold on, I'm trying to see the the letter here Where's the damn letter boy? Oh, hold on. It said letter. Hold on. Take repeater ammo. Fast travel. I'm not trying to fast travel here, lady. I'm trying to read the damn letter. There it is. Fast travel thing got in the way. My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. Whoa! It's I Mary Beth! Thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but... I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Because change is tough. You change and be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment. <laughs> life is very confusing. And I see now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. Ugh. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in San Denis. Oh, Arthur. I know it is wrong to ask you. But I have nobody else. And for what we once had together, I beg of you. Even though I am... Ashamed to do so. Yours, Mary. Whoa! Mary! Mary, I must say... I understand you don't like the way I live my life. But I will do this just for you, Mary. Because I'm a nice guy. You know what happens to nice guys? <laughs> they finish last. Shit, what I eat? Damn it. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff to do now, apparently. Uh, we got Hosea. We've got Mary Beth. Wait, what? Is that the Mary Beth mission? Where, where are they at? Alright, let's go do the Mary Beth mission here. Then we've got some more Leopold Strauss. Uh, Morning, Arthur. What is it? Uh, debts to collect. We've got a lot of stuff to do, man. So I think after this episode, I'm just going to take some time on my own off stream to do all the side missions and stuff. Pistol, huh, Mary Beth. Is this Mary Beth? Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, Wait, this isn't the same Mary. Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but, but we're still alive. Mm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? Got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> what did happen? Love me enough, I guess. 
her. I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Well, all right. I'll tell you on the way. Just Mary Beth. I wasn't expecting this. All right. Head for Rhodes. And quick. She's in Rhodes? No. She's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. Mm. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. And now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes. They probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Oh, Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent huh. as you might huh. think. But like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will if Thank you, my dearest. Uh, sp I Sprite. The sons of bitches. No, Sprite, but I won't drink at all. You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. Sorry about that. Some my sister asked to go get food. You were special. Anyway, talking to folks disappearing. Have you seen that boy Kieran since the party for Jack? Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. Yeah. Whoa. Why could we take my horse? Oh, we need more space. We're lost and in need of some help. Get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours. And I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. You don't mean nothing by it. I said. You said your last word. Oh! What are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. What? <laughs> she just freaking. All right. <laughs> she just stabbed the man. Yo, hold on. What was this gun? Double bared. Well, I might use that. Not really. Jesus, what are you doing? I kind of need to finish this guy off. I only shot his legs. Hold on. She thought it's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. 
anyone approaches, shoot them! Oh, don't worry, I'll be just fine. Now oh, yeah. Let's go. I shot this man like five times. What the hell? Oh, you can't use dead eye. Oh, that's a trick. I think that last one's the boss. Lasso him, and we'll take him back to Tilly. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Don't kill him yet. I want. I'll, I'll gladly lasso this. I literally just tried roping him. Well, I know how we're gonna. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, horse. I'm sorry. Oh, is this the guy that was talking to her? Back in Valentine? Yeah, this was the guy. You bring that bastard back to Tilly so we can all have a nice little chat. Oh, yes, we can. Over there now to check she's okay. With pleasure. What? What? Yo, I, I don't have a horse. Oh, wait, never mind. My horse is right. <laughs> My horse. Wait, wh where'd you come from? I I do not, oh, sir. Anthony but I, uh, yeah, I don't care. Thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that foreman with an A? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you. She didn't tell me nothing. Wow. This rope is cutting into me. Good. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you gonna do with me? I ain't sure yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. You're wasting your time with that girl. She's a liar. She'll screw you over like she did me. I should have shot the bitch yesterday like I said I would. You just shut your mouth. All right. Here's your man. Bring him here. Dump him on the ground here. I want to get a good look at this monster. Here's your man. So he's still alive then? Ah. Yes. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur. You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone. Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. We're gonna spare him because we're good people. Right, Let's get you home. Now get out of here. Oh, no, no. Well, that was a mission.
You know what I want to go do? I want to go see, uh, what's her name? Mary Linton. Is that her? Yo, let's go see Mary Linton. I actually really do want to speak with her, so. Gonna be a ride back there. Why do we have to come all the way back to Rhodes? Oh yeah, because of Tilly. Damn it, Tilly. Damn it. Oh, there's a there's a stranger mission there. There's two stranger missions there. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's so much to do. I'm overwhelmed. I have a bounty of ten dollars. Could they just let that slide? Like I, I barely did anything. Alright, we're gonna go into automatic mode, because I need to answer some snappy chatties. Hey mister, that's one nice looking horse you got there. How about we see how fast it is? First one of Catfish Jackson's. Catfish Jackson? Where the hell is that? Is that on my way? Nah, I'm good. Bye bye. Hold on a minute. Hear me out. So what do you say? Well, what'll it be then? I Don't tell me I lose honor for that. If I lose honor for that, I was I was about to say if I lose honor for that, I no. No. Just no. There it is. Saint Denis, boys. Saint Denis. Why isn't it Saint Denis? I don't know why not, because it needs an E at the end, so it's Saint Denis. Denis. You even have to bridge. Yeah, you even have to cross a bridge to get over to it. It's like Manhattan, dude. So is this where the Littons live, Lau? Lau. Is this where the Littons live now? You ought to take care of that. The horse is tired. Okay, here we go. Arthur! Arthur! Oh, there. Up here! You came! Yeah. I came. So, uh, what do you need? Wait there. I'm coming straight down. <laughs> Nosy people. <laughs> Call for me, I'll come. Uh, oh, Arthur. What's wrong? Daddy. Your father? I'm a bigger fool than I even thought. I, I'm begging you, Arthur. I know Daddy was not kind to you, but but surely you cannot hate a man for the sin of loving his daughter and wanting better for her than than, than me? Then the choices you what make. What choice did I have? Did I ever have? Oh, I know. You had to live by your code. But your code is... Well, it's not right. 
Has your way been right, Mary? With you? And Jamie joining a bunch of crazies? And hypocritical daddy with his drinking and whoring and gambling? Huh? Is that what a pure life has gotten you? Begging me for help? No, oh, Arthur. Be kind to me. Please. I'm sorry. I am... I should have asked someone else, but... But I'm the best guy you know at frightening decent people. <laughs> True. It wasn't that I didn't love you, Arthur. You know that. Mm. Oh, Arthur. We were so very young. Think how different life could have been. Yeah, I think about it. A lot. I, it all seems so long ago and far away now. Will you help me try to save Daddy? Oh, shut up. All right, we'll help you out. Come along, Dan. <sighs> I'm too nice Where of a going? guy. People take advantage of me. I, I can relate to now. this. Oh, Arthur, you know sarcasm is beneath you. He's been gambling and drinking and other things. Oh, uh, the filthy rotter. Where can we find him? He said he was going down to the Theodore Eckhart stables. Something about a horse. It's down by the water in the warehouse district near the train yard. Come on, then. Don't be a pompous ass, Arthur. It doesn't suit you. Oh, should I leave that to Daddy? Leave Daddy alone. He suffers enough. Well, I suppose I can take some consolation in that. <laughs> Arthur, I should have ran away with you years ago. Well, you wouldn't. No, I didn't. But... Well... I don't know. Oh, she would now. She's about to say it. She would now. Say it. Jim, say it. Ladies, say it. Dude, I hope they run away together. So what do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. He keeps saying it's a disgrace. A man of his standing has to ride around on some old nag. Standing? He's usually falling down. Arthur. He wasn't always this way. Watch if we have to buy a horse but for him. It Watch it. Worse. He's drinking and gambling more than ever, pawning things off left and right, mixing with bad people. I'm just scared. This is the place. Let me go in and see what kind of a state he's in. Sure. I'll wait here. Good luck. Scream if you need any help. Very funny. What's up, my boy, Discouraged Rebel? How you doing, brother? Welcome to the street. It's almost over, bud. What, in the street? Yes, in the street. Is it your street? Just get out of here. Why? I said, just get out of here. Listen, partner. I'm waiting on a lady. She's a fine lady. Just gone inside. If I wasn't waiting on this lady, you'd be dead already. But if you continue to irritate me, I'll kill you. And make my apologies to the lady. It's your call. Oh, I didn't mean nothing. Apology accepted. Oh, wait right there. I have half a mind to kill you myself. Daddy. No. Oh, Daddy, please, come home. You're tired, Daddy, tired and I have no unwell. such thing. You get away from me. You head home. I insist upon it. Leave me be. He looked like that kid. Damn nuisance. <laughs> For the last episode, the stealing my bag, kid. Ever, I see. Oh, Arthur, he's up to no good. We better follow him. Okay. Uh, my tooth killed me, I took some pain meds, and got hooked. This way. Yo, I feel you, dude. I feel you, brother. Kinda had an anxiety attack earlier today, so... He that sucked. The corner. I can still see him, he's right here. Where'd 
Where's he going? Hold up, Arthur. You can see why he has such a high opinion of himself. We'll oh, he just threw up. Arthur, any closer and he'll spot us. He just went between those crates. Come here, quick. Mind where oh. you go. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Sorry? Do you think he saw us? It's so awkward. <laughs> I can feel the awkwardness, and it's just a video game, dude. Say a thing insulting. I'll wipe that goddamn smirk clean off your face. <laughs> Ain't you a little old for brawling, mister? Damn you! He's heading across the road. You know, this is kind of fun. He'll hear you. Yourself up a bit. I didn't realize I was here to impress. I look good. Hey, what do you mean? I have a fancy vest on. What do you mean? Look at my haircut. Look at this fanciness, lady. What do you mean I could have cleaned myself? I'm gonna slap you. Just kidding, I can't do that. Demonetized? What's he doing? Let's go find out. Did he go left here? I never show you a good time. Okay, hold on. Oh yeah, my government teacher said I should go to college and major in political science after a class debate today. Hey, that might be your calling, man. I'm just glad you're here. What was the debate about? The topic? Gonna be something co controversial, huh? Something controversial. What's he doing? He's just walking around. What's he doing? What do you think he's doing? Well, he's either waiting for a woman of dubious morals or he's trying to sell something. So, Ashton, you got the money? Seems he's selling something. Have you got the brooch, Mr. Gillis? Yes. Here. Here's the money. <laughs> That is beautiful. It's a family heirloom. That was it's mother's brooch. Not any longer, Mr. Gillis. Enjoy the money. And should you need any more, I can offer you a loan at a very reasonable rate of interest. No, thank you. I've heard what happens to folks who take loans from you. It's not even I've to sell. No, it's just a brooch. At least he didn't get himself killed. So just in gun control. mother left it to me. You sold my mother's brooch? How could you? You! That's theft! Oh, speaking of thieves, I, I see you found your outlaw again. Hello, sir. Have you been well? Daddy, how could you? Mary, wait here. I'll go get the brooch. Don't hurt anyone, Arthur. Someone. Catch up with the buyer. Where's the buyer? Hey, come back to me, son. I will smack you in the face. Hey, you. you, Ashton, hold her right there. God damn it. Oh, no. I totally could Damn it, I could have hopped into the damn wagon. Hey, stop that coach. Horse, come to me. I'm whistling. That gun control topic, though, it can be very controversial. Hey, horse, come to me. Come to me, my dearest. I'm right here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's just standing there. You hear me? Stop the damn coach. My horse is just standing there. Chasing after the wagon. I can't do much with my horses and doing shit. Watch it. Did it just stay over there? Oh my god, it's the no <laughs> Fuck this game, dude. Oh 
I'm gonna lose them. Discouraged friend of mine, rebel. I'm gonna lose these people. And my horse isn't even in range anymore. My horse isn't even in range anymore. <gasps> oh, no! No, 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 no! There's no horses around. And I can't lose the damn wagon, bro. I can still see them, though. No, the fog is... The fog is... No, 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 no. I totally botched this mission, though. Damn you, you stupid horse! <sighs> Gonna have to start taking shortcuts. I'm about to run out of stamina. We better... We better eat something here. Oh, baby, I'm like freaking the Flash. I'm like the Flash. Oh, no. No, 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 get back in the road. When's this wagon gonna stop? Restart mission. I need to find someone in the damn road! Where is everyone? I'm like smashing this damn run button. I'm trying. I'm chasing. I'm trying. Trust me. You stupid horse, dude. I'm so bad. I'm so triggered right now. Still see the damn wagon though. It's not going that much faster. Oh, it stopped. It stopped. No, no, no. Still there. What in tarnit? That's what I'm saying, dude. Yo, there's a walking man right here. Where's the damn horses? I need a horse, my guy. Cut through, cut through. Come on, let's cut through. Oh, there might be some horses here. Oh. Why is there no horses anywhere? Why? I'm about to lose my bro. How is there no horse around? Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. If an alligator pops out of nowhere, I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. There's not a single person here. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to shoot the horses. Fuck this, dude. Oh! <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> Chase after the wagon. Yeah, I, I'm gonna try. Y'all just, you know what? Just for... I have to, I'm sorry. Just, just in case. Stop that coach. I, I know my horse ain't coming. Yep. Back here. I, the coach is not that fast. Come on. You hear me? Stop the damn coach. There's no way that coach is that fast. Can I shoot the back of it? 
Hey! Stop, damn coach! I think I can shoot the lock. Oh yeah, I shot that lock. Where's the damn kid though? Oh, what? I was about to jump into the wagon! Hold on. Drive to a secluded spot. Why? Oh, is the guy in here? Yo, sorry you had to see that painful, painful waste of me running. Ah, uh, sure you did, brother. I'm sure you did. Get out of there, brother. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. It's just a brooch. I want that brooch. It wasn't Gillis's to sell. I bought it fair and square. How much do you want for it? I guess I could give it to you for a hundred dollars. A hundred? I'm a good guy. I'm a good guy. I'm a good guy. I'm a good, Here. good guy. Yeah, take the damn thing. Crazy son of a bitch. You don't know who you're messing with. I would shoot you. I would shoot you, but I'm a good man at heart. Can I fast forward over there? Thank you. Oh my god. I don't know. You want me to go find him again? Not really. You want to take a walk? I'll take you to the trolley. Thank you. Yeah, got you your brooch back. I won't ask. Probably best not. Uh. <laughs> But he, I, I mean, I bought it from him, so you can ask. Hey. What are you doing now, right this moment? Why'd you ask? Uh, well, I was wondering if you wanted to do something. Hey, we're hanging out. Head to the theater, perhaps. Uh. <gasps> I'll accept that. Theater? Me? Sure, why not? <laughs> It'll be fun, Arthur. Let's go to the Relure. They have the strangest acts. <laughs> strangest I can handle. Well, it's the normal business of life. I can't seem to get a grip on it. <laughs> you and me both, Arthur. Oh, I've missed you. Don't start. <laughs> You're an idiot. But you'll always be my friend. Friend well, zone. I'm your friend, but <laughs> you ain't always fair with me. If I was fair with you and a good person, I'd have had you hanged a long time ago. Well, that's true. <laughs> so, shut up and act like a gentleman, <gasps> or at least try to for once in your brainless life. You're not a very nice <laughs> <guy>. rebel. <laughs> well, look at the company I keep. I know, it's quite dreadful, isn't it? <laughs> I look great, though. <laughs> wow. Sort of beautiful. In a gaudy and tasteless way. It's the only way I know. <laughs> Thank you. Well, no, I didn't mean it like that. I'm sure. <clears throat> you silly man. Come on. Let's go find our seats. We're in a theater. Oh, I'm my God. Here on the right. Sure. After you. I'm right in the middle. I want to just stand up and leave. <laughs> I want to just stand up and leave. Welcome! <laughs> and thank you. I'm an exit theater. <laughs> applause. I am Aldridge T. Abington, the greatest assembler of entertainment since Nero himself. 
Do not doubt. As a child, when I walked the horse manure covered streets of Saint Denis, I never dreamed of the stir I would create so, in this locality. Just starting on that. Are you of in the a rush? The greatest Arthur? show ever assembled. Prepare for the grandest excitement of your Look at that, they look so cute. Fire, snakes, and magic. Woo! I encourage you all right. to dabble <laughs> in all three. Oh my you god. Settle the version to manual labor as I do. For entertainment is a gift that will see you through the winter better than any packed larder or root cellar full of canned goods. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a truly stunning musical performance to the stage, Miss Robin Koninsky. Can I cheer? Make a move! Oh, whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa! Make a move! That's something I need to learn. Look at me applauding, dude. This is so weird. Thank you for joining us. Now let's talk a little bit about this place we all love called Saint Denis. I don't think I can yet. Oh, I can. Hold on, let's enjoy this music a little bit more. One, two. Oh, oh my god, I can't believe it. <laughs> some good music, though, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Can I enter cinematic mode? Oh, I can't. Oh, look at that. Who says that shit? Should I make a move? Woo! <laughs> I'm gonna make a move. Let's do it. What's he doing? She's incredible. <laughs> Dude, what the heck is this? <laughs> we tried, Rebel. We tried. Uh, it was too early, wasn't it? It was too early. I'm gonna stand up. Can I stand up? Yo, let me stand up. That's a standing ovation this lady should get. Standing ovation. All right, say it. Say it, Rebel. Flawless. Perfect. Oh, I see you. You, you love her dulcet tones, right? Yes. She's pure spectacle and... I assure you, she can charm any beast, any beast at all, from cockroach to killer whale. <laughs> Your mother so most likely told you not to play with fire or to spend time in the company of strange women. You are about to do both. <laughs> Miss Antoinette Sanservino. <laughs> Rebel. <laughs> I don't know. That's a good one, dude. That's a good one. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, what is this? Oh. Y'all see this? Oh, be here. <laughs> 
Dude, look at this lady, dude. Can I make my moves again? No, I can't. No. He should stop talking. Those are some cringy comments right there. Who says that? That's crazy, brother. I think I can't make my moves anymore because it's not. It's just not. I, I literally wonder what happens if we stay here the, for the whole theater. You imagine doing that every day? I can't think of anything worse. <sighs> Come on, fire lady. Mary Linton. See, the true question here now is, can she spit fire? If you can spit fire, then you've done it all. You can do it all. We want more. Yeah, yeah, we want more. Ho, woo, woo, woo. Can this be? She literally has done this for 40 minutes. Come on. Not really, but. Just watch her dress catch on. Watch this whole building catch on fire. Yo, chill. You have a lady next to you, my guy. <laughs> what is this? What am I doing? Nobody cares. So nothing happens when you antagonize him. <laughs> I said nobody cares. <laughs> Just stop. You vote. All right. We get it. We get it. You're lovely at this. You've got a special talent. You've done it enough, though. That was three minutes. It took three minutes of my life with that. Come on, let me make a move, man. I just want to make a move. Oh, enchanting. Ooh, Mesmerizing. Right. She is truly one to bring home to mother. <laughs> it is said that there is a place in France where the naked ladies dance. I have been there. Prepare for the body braziers of the Petit Flaneur in Gay Paris. Yeah. The what the what? I'm enjoying this theater. Ten out of ten. See, look at that. Faster, faster, faster. <laughs> what do I do with my life? Lord, help me. <laughs> what is that supposed to do? Is that supposed to do something? That's a good show right there. That's what I'm saying. Hold on. Let me put this in full screen. Hold on.
<laughs> no offense, but I feel like I could do that. Was that it? Hey! Let me stand up. Hold on. Let me stand up. I can't stand up. Damn it. Shit. Well, all right. I can't stand up. That's, that's, no. How many more acts? What do we have to do? Whoa, incredible. Aren't they lovely? Oh, those legs are a sight to behold. <sighs> Spent. <laughs> Each of my shows is truly incredulous, awe-inspiring, and I'm sure you enjoyed. Thank you. <laughs> we flounder through the morass of humanity with only bright moments like these before it all goes dim and snuffs out in silence. So okay, thank no. you. What a lovely evening. Come back. Thank you. Th that was 10 minutes. 10 minutes. That was legit 10 minutes. Shall we? Yes. That was fun, Arthur. <laughs> it was. <laughs> Where's everyone All else? Right. You better take me to the trolley now, Mr. Morgan. Of course. <laughs> How much did I pay for those tickets? Ridiculous, but somehow very amusing. Charlie good, my friend. That was absolutely Charlie good. A hundred percent. Ten out of ten. My life wasn't supposed to... Oh, is it too late for us, Arthur? No, 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 not, not Get later. Get out of here. Wanted man, Mary, if I, if anyone close to me, well, they're wanted to, and I can't have you wrapped up in there, but it's coming to an end. This time it really is. Run away with me, Arthur. Oh, already. Run away right now and don't look back. No, Dutch would. I want to. More than anything I want to. But I've got some people I need to take care of. But once they're free, then I'm free. Then I can disappear. But Arthur... If we're going to run away anywhere, we need money. I have $15,000! I'll have some. I know you won't. What do you mean? But it's a pretty dream. Very pretty. But I will. Once I get some money, I had some, but then some fool got it trapped into a town that I can't go back to. It's another story. I'll write you. Yeah. Oh, no. <clears throat> that must suck. I'm so sorry, Arthur Morgan. Oh, this, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> what, like I said, that's not a tear. That's just my eye sweating. No, oh, that's eye sweat. <sighs> that was fun. Got another joke. All right, let me hear it before I end this episode, man. That was something else. Let me hear it. <laughs> let me save this. That's so sad. So sad. He totally could have just taken it. Uh, none? I'm gonna say none. Is that, uh... Oh, brother, yeah. What are you saying, 
my guy. What are you saying, my guy? What are you saying? Oh my god. That's that's a That's that's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god all right uh, it's from a movie i haven't seen the movie let me know which movie it is but i'm gonna go ahead and end this thank you all so much for tuning in rebel once again brother thank you for sticking through man i appreciate it you're like my only real <laughs> subscriber so thank you man really appreciate it and i'm cut up i'm caught up i was i i, I told myself that I was going to stream every single day and have at least one stream a day for every day starting on November 1st. It's now November uh, 16th, and this is part 16, so this means I am on track. So, finally, I did three streams yesterday and two today and, like, three the day before yesterday, so it's... But I'm there. I'm sticking... To my goal and i hope to get through this red dead redemption 2 campaign man it's not looking too good but it's a good one it's a good game it's a damn good game you need to pick it up you need to pick it up discouraged rebel my friends uh tomorrow i'll be streaming tomorrow uh around i wouldn't say 10 10 a.m so around 10 ish a.m and then i'll probably stream in the afternoon as well so yeah, I'll try to let you guys know on Discord. I haven't been on Discord for a bit, though, because uh, I actually accidentally uninstalled it on my computer. So, sorry, I'm going to install it, and then I'll let you know when. So, thank you so much once again, Rebel. If you're watching this as a video, thank you for sticking by, and I'll see you guys on the next one.